Hi, I'm Rowan. I'm in Year 13 and I'm one of the head students here at Prince Henry's. I've been here since Year 7 and I believe it's a great school. I wouldn't have applied to be head student if I didn't believe that Prince Henry's had given me the confidence and necessary skills to do so. We can't let you come into school for our usual hands-on open evenings with 600 visitors running around and trying out lots of things. There'll be none of this, for example. But we can give you a taste of life at Prince Henry's and show you what a typical year is really like. I'm going to hand over to some students in Year 8 to show you around and you'll also hear from some of our new Year 7 students about their transition to Prince Henry's. I hope you enjoy this little taste of Prince Henry's and we will see you all soon when you come up to join us. Hi, I'm Sydney and I'm Isaac. We're on New Road. I came to Prince Henry's from Geisley Primary and I came from Paul Primary. We're here to talk about Prince Henry's, show you around and just give you a general taste of what life is like at high school. Let's go and have a look around. Isaac, what would you be doing today? Music, art, PE, French and maths. How about you? I'd be doing Spanish, art, music, maths and history. Right, we'll have a look at some of those subjects. Don't want to miss out all the bacon sandwiches and Henry's though. Okay, let's go. First, let's get registered in form. You go to your form every morning and have to be ready in your form at 8.25 for registration at 8.30. This is my form 8 and I. We will be together from year 7 to year 11 and our form tutor, Miss Taylor, will come with us. There are 9 or 10 form groups in every year and you'll have form every single morning and then you'll go off to your lessons at 8.50. How many different subjects do you do? 13 different subjects. But don't panic, not 13 subjects every day five at the most, and I do French, not Spanish. You get to do either French or Spanish depending on which primary school you went to. I know it seems like a lot, but you soon get used to it and you get a plan to help organise yourself. Why don't you go and show them where the Year 7s play? Then after break you can show them more lessons until lunch. Well I've quite enjoyed the new maths topics that we've been doing. So it's less like long division and multiplication. We did exploding dots for a bit and now we're recovering place value. It's quite a bit of fun. I just think it's like meeting all the new people and because at my primary school we were pretty much all there from reception so we've all known each other for several years and it's just like you get to meet so many new people and like it can be even just you sat next to someone in maths and because you've got to talk to them you become friends and yeah, it's just really nice. subjects history because I like learning about the past. Um, well I really enjoy like French and I also like enjoy history. So and I'm also enjoying science because again we didn't have have that good, good of science 
these utensils. So using the Bunsen burners last week was really fun because I had never done and it before and I knew if it was going to be fun but I didn't realize it was going to be that fun. Now we're in like Prince Henry's you can like um like in tech you can do actual cooking and you can do textiles you can do woodwork and it all sounds very exciting and stuff. I'm particularly enjoying science and all the experiments and practicals we've been doing and also tech because at primary school we never did anything like it. And I'm also really enjoying like PE and also maths. I really enjoy tech because my family just loves cooking and so then my parents wanted me to start cooking more and it's kind of really helped me because we just do basic skills so some people might not have cooked much and so then obviously it's helpful for them doing basic skills and then like me because I've cooked loads then it's helpful just to like get like your techniques right so obviously you don't cut yourself. Lunch time! There are lots of options in Henry's including vegetarian and vegan ones or you can bring a packed lunch. It's busy in Henry's diner but you'll get to go first at the start of year 7. Well until you get used to it. There are loads of clubs to join which you can do at lunch or after school. We can't show you those clubs at a moment, but when we finish showing you a school day, we'll show you some of them. Off we go and talk to some Year 7s we missed today. Um, definitely like the fact that the outside space is, has a lot more variety. Because at my primary school, we only had like f flat concrete and we didn't have loads of like grass space. And the only time we ever really got to do that was at like sports day when we got to go down to the park. So I'm really glad that we have the option to go down onto the grass. Um, it, for me it's better than I expected, mostly because a lot of people in my form are quite chatty rather than quite shy and you actually make a lot of friends quicker and you actually learn the one way system and also the teachers help me to feel it. I thought they were going to be like strict on the first day. Well not like strict but like you let it come on hurry up. Yeah, so first of all I thought I will get lost in every lesson and just be late to every lesson. And I thought I would have to just follow everyone around. But it's not as hard as I thought since I used to think that it was like a very giant school and then it, I was so small and then yeah. And then when I went into the school, it wasn't as hard to find the lessons as I thought it would be. So. When I thought I got, when I was told I was coming here, I was really excited. But then I was like, oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble because my mum like explained to me all the rules and I was like, they're so strict, I'm never going to have to follow them all. Actually now I've come here, I've realised they are strict, but they are also easy to follow if you want to do the right thing. Okay, last lesson, a quick run through of some other subjects. Finally, here we come to the extracurriculum clips.
joined any yet, but I think I'd quite like to join like a swimming club or any other sport club. Yeah, I haven't joined any yet, but I'm thinking about joining the rugby group because I've been having quite a lot of fun doing it in PE lessons and I feel like I'm alright at it. I'm waiting to join the cheerleading club and I'm trying to do the sign language um, sessions too. Um, I would really, I'm going to try out for the um, rugby club at some point because I've been really excited for that and I would love rugby. And I might also try out for some music clubs and stuff because I do guitar and all that. Um, I'm definitely thinking about rocking up to the badminton club on a Wednesday at lunchtime for year seven because I used to do badminton a lot when I was in Hull and I'm also I'm really excited because I know that there are lots of bands and like choirs and things at Pretenders and I play the flute and the piano so I'm really hoping that those can sort of like come into play. One last thing and it's something that's really special to us back to the senior student in the studio. There's a set of core values that run through Prince Henry's. We always talk about being global citizens, being part of a wider community, both locally and across the world, about children growing into adults who really contribute to the world, who feel comfortable in their own skin and who are ready to take positive values out into the world and make it a better place on any scale. This is really important to us and as well as being at the core of the work we do in lessons, it also leads to the trips and visits which students go on. I've been to Berlin with school and usually over 500 students go on a trip every year across the world. Let's show you. Um, what, I'm, what the biggest change for me is that you're not more of a variety. Like in school, when you did maths, you could sit next to anyone and they could be like a completely different level than you. But like at maths, at Prince Henry, you get put into sets, so it's quite a lot easier. So like they would know what you're talking about because they're basically about the same level as you. And also one of the other big changes is um, like the there's a lot more space for stuff and you can also like some break times you could go to the library and finish off homework which would be a lot more helpful well it's been a lot bigger and there's lots more classrooms but i think it's not as scary as i thought it would be yeah the most annoying thing in my opinion is just having to walk more like, my old primary school was quite close to my house, but now I have to walk all the way across the river, but it's not that bad. Walk across the river, Sam? <laughs> That's kind of cheap. You can make a note about this. <laughs> Use the bridge, Sam. It's much quicker and easier. <laughs> I might find it hard. <laughs> right, that really is it. We're sure you can meet you in person and give you a chance to have a go at some of the things we've shown you today. We will get the chance to when you come to Prince Henry's. Thank you for watching. We hope you've had fun and felt, you know, a little bit more about what life is like at Prince Henry's. Bye! Bye.